Welcome to the GigaHub Network. This week there is no weekly show. Instead, it's just going to be Daikaiju Tony and I talking about Daikaiju. Right? So welcome. First, we want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the Jewel of the Mojave Desert. You can find us online at CosmicComics.Vegas, or there's a link right to our store in the description below. And we ship now, so it's really cool. Um, so today... We're talking about, uh, <laughs> that's really difficult. So today we're going to talk about uh, Daikaiju, but what are we going to talk about? What does this pertain to? Uh, the Monsterverse. The Monsterverse, that's right. So if you don't know, recently it was just announced that Apple TV picked up a, uh, they're developing a live show for Apple Plus, right? Yep, right. Apple Plus. Right. Just a few history, if you don't know what the Monsterverse is, it is... Legendary's attempt to have their own Godzilla franchise that's connected and King Kong franchise. Mm -hmm. um, it started with Godzilla in 2014, uh -huh. and then Kong on Skull Island in 2017. That one was actually good. King of the Monsters, King of the Monsters in 2019. And Godzilla versus Kong. Very good. <laughs> and then Godzilla versus Kong, which was only last year. Yep. The Monsterverse given to us by right. Max Bornstein, Gareth Edwards, Jordan Vogue Roberts. And Thomas Toll, who, as far as I'm concerned, is no longer working for Legendary, and I think he's a farmer now. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just wanted to let that out. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. That's, yeah. That's, that's uh, interesting. Um, so before we get into it, uh, what, how did you feel about the MonsterVerse movies so far? Because there's been four movies, that's it. Uh, <laughs> okay, well. It <laughs> doesn't have to be too lengthy. Okay. Right. 2014. I still have a soft spot, uh, soft spot for it because it's the first Godzilla movie I ever saw in the theater. Uh, I admit there are some tweaks I would make to it to make it a more cohesive movie. Uh, overall, I wish that the home release of it would have proper lighting adjustments to it because apparently when it was released on home video, the lighting was just way different from what was shown theatrically, which is why it's really? darker than what it usually looks mm. like. Um, Kong Skull Island, great movie. Jordan Vogue Roberts did a great yeah, job with it. Good. I have faith in the Gundam project we ha he has with yeah. Brian K. Vaughn, and I also have faith in the bigger solid live action movie that's going to star Oscar Isaacs as Solid Snake. Wow. Godzilla King of the Monsters. It's a fan service movie that exists. Godzilla vs. <laughs> versus... Kong. It's a dumb movie. I like it as much as Godzilla Final Wars. In terms of human story, now rewatching it, like because I what rewatched it within like three weeks ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can see somewhat of a social commentary with the character Walter Simmons and how it makes how it makes fun of conglomerate figures like Elon Musk and um, Jeff yeah. Bezos because honestly, like, the most realistic part of the MonsterVerse that kind of boggles my mind is that it's more realistic that. A mega corporation would build Mecha Godzilla before any governments would. <laughs> yeah, especially nowadays. Um, all right, my feelings. Um, Godzilla nine from 2014 was just boring. I saw what Gareth Edwards was trying to do, but unfortunately, when you're talking about a monster that has at that point 60 years of history, it's hard to be secretive and and slow reveal. I just it does it is. I thought it was all right for the first time they revealed them, yeah. but then they kept teasing them after. I'm like, okay, just yeah. get just get it over with because um, we've seen the full body shot of them. Right. Yeah. It was too long too. Um, Kong and Skull Island, great flick. Uh, it's better than the Peter Jackson movie. The only <laughs> thing I the only thing that just made me kind of go, uh, yeah, it was way better than the King, Peter Jackson King Kong. The only thing that kind of made me twinge was. He gets knocked into some ships, and then suddenly he's wrapped in a bunch of chains as if somebody at Universal said, no, Godzilla's got to break out of oh, chains, Kong, man, or out. Kong, yeah. Well, it did lead to that the was cool silly. scene where he used, but it was the, great. Yeah, he, it was used, great. he used the propeller as a weapon, which that was, was like, cool. so awesome. That was cool. Uh, King of the Monsters, I'm just not going to comment on, not a fan. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Kong, I actually mostly enjoyed. My biggest complaint with that movie was the fact that Godzilla – wasn't really anything more than he was very one dimensional. He was well, just a he was just a he was just a yeah, I don't know. Well, he you was did, one dimensional. You did say that in the like before the movie came out that America still hasn't really gotten God Godzilla yet. I still say it, yeah. Well with this one, Godzilla's overpowered as hell. Yeah, he, he beats Kong, but well, that's my other argument. But is he still Kong never Yeah he, never stood a chance. But yeah. 
I appreciate that Godzilla gets the crap out, of, beaten out of him by Mecha Godzilla, and he still needs Kong's help because yes, Godzilla, while he's overpowered, he's not a hundred percent indestructible. Right. Yeah, that's fair. All right. So moving on. Um, so Apple TV announced that, right? Yes. But last year, January twenty twenty one. Netflix actually began developing an animated MonsterVerse show oh, yeah. called Skull Island. Yeah, a lot of people forget about that. Um, of course, that's um, it's in it's in development. It's going to center around the adventures of shipwrecked characters trying to escape from the titular island, which is home to various prehistoric monsters. Hopefully, Hank Marlowe's there because will I Kong like his be character. in it? What's that, Hank Marlowe? I hope his character is there because um, I liked his character. Yeah, I, I don't know what that means. Um, I'm not sure if I. <laughs> uh, well, um, it's hard to care when you know that the island kind of gets destroyed, destroyed by, yeah. by a giant hurricane. Yeah, there's a there's a big problem I have with prequels anyway. It's when you know what happens, it kind of loses the effect. Now, according to the untitled live action series for Apple TV Plus, um, do you know what's going to be about? Tell it's going to be about a family right after the events of Gazel 2014. I don't know how they're. So gonna it's go. another prequel? Yes. I don't know how they're going to go with this since since in between Godzilla 2014 and 2019, oh. there was no Godzilla sightings at all except for that one comic book that happened that I'm pretty sure everyone forgot. <laughs> it's, a, it's the one where he fights some kind of Muto that right. ends up blowing up his dorsal fins, and that's why Godzilla gets newer dorsal fins in oh. the King of the Monsters that looks more like the traditional Godzilla sure. dorsal fins. Um, yeah, and they're... Un they're the family is uncovering buried secrets and legacy, linking them to the secret organization known as Monarch. Uh, what secrets? They yeah, I, got fully exposed once yeah. the twenty nine, once the San Francisco incident happened. Right. As a matter of fact, the government tried shutting him down. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, now, it is Chris Black as the showrunner, and of course Matt Fraction is a co-creator. Matt so, Fraction. So yes, that Matt Fraction. Uh, Matt Fraction is a very popular comic book writer and creator um if you don't know if you watched hawkeye if you watched hawkeye because i know you saw it if you watched hawkeye the recent disney plus series um matt fraction actually wrote the original graphic novel that that was all based off of so yeah among many 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 other things yes um so what are your feelings on it what are your uh, feelings on the apple plus show or the animated show okay. what are your feelings on either of them first of all why is it an Apple Plus? Why isn't this not an HBO Max? This, because every other MonsterVerse movie is an HBO Max, and I'm pretty sure HBO Max has like contract rights with Warner Brothers. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure. as for how the story would go, I'm not expecting any monster fights or <laughs> hardly. No, I'm like, well, I'm not really, really. I'm a, I'm expecting a full blown monster battle by like the end of the season. Yeah. And I don't exactly want it. To, well, that's that's the hard thing. Like, should it have Godzilla? Because I, I'd, it'd be cool to see Godzilla, but it wouldn't make sense continuity-wise. <laughs> King Kong, on the other hand, it would be cool to see, like, okay, how has Squire Island changed since the excavation in the 70s? Right. Because there's the prequel comic, um, Birth of Kong, which, you know, it, it came out by the t in 2017 when right. the, the movie came out. It basically goes over Kong's origins and... Uh, basically, Kong's parents died in battle when he was born. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Um, kind of a Batman-ish origin where <laughs> he, he's, he's standing in front of his two dead parents. Um, wow, Batman and Kong, but shared like, continuity. But in that movie, oh, not movie, in that comic, the monsters evolved, like those freaking vulture things that tore up that one guy. <laughs> yeah. They were able to shoot lightning out of their mouth. Um, what else? A tiger, a white tiger with horns, and that I mean, that's interesting. I'm hoping that you're talking about the different titans at this point. Yeah, different okay. titans. Because here's the thing: I'm hoping that we get more original monsters for once. Because with all honesty, I'm kind of sick of seeing Mothra, Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mecha what get get reimagined every single time. Give us, yeah. you know, either give us monsters that haven't been used in years, like, I don't know, Biolantai, yeah. or make, give us new monsters. That's yeah. all I want. <laughs> Do an update of Megalon, the super cyborg cockroach. Yeah. well, I mean, Gigan we got a remake on, but he was part Cinnabite and an extra well, from the Matrix. So. Gigan and Megalon kind of got reimagined in Singular Point. They were Megal oh, did they? They were, okay, Gigan, Megalon, and Kumonga were amalgamed into one monster in Singular Point. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but that aside, um, Kong Skull and anime. Um, hmm. Then again, it's the same thing as I think. It's, I, have, I have the same thoughts I have with the Kong Skull and anime with the Apple TV show. Now, if the Apple TV show is going to be more Godzilla related, I don't know. Maybe it could take place in an isolated island that couldn't be documented. Maybe this version of Odo Island is still a fishing village, mm. not, you know, no technology at all which is why it's not documented i think uh i think skull island is intended to be sort of an action adventure cartoon sort of like a big chunk of the actual original king kong movie or the peter jackson version except not ridiculously boring and dragged and dragged yeah (laughs) um so i mean i have higher hopes for that although i can't imagine caring to watch it (laughs) that's terrible to say um there's a there's a few reasons for that that are more personal um with the studio that's doing it but uh, uh <laughs> um the live action one I, I i don't know i just you know what it seems to me it, it seems to like it's following this current trend like which you see in media too much which i think basically has to do with crappy screenwriting not saying that the screenwriters are bad i'm saying that the scripts and the screenplays are actually not ending up good um for whatever reason, whether it's studio interference. And it's this sort of desire to have this other media support the main stories. Oh, God. You know what I mean? That's some J.J. Um, Abrams crap right there. Right, yeah, and I hate, I just hate that. But anyway. Okay, um, here's how I would want the <laughs> Apple Godzilla, if it's going to be a Godzilla show. Uh-huh. Family investigates, uh, well, surviving family from the 2014 San Francisco event um, investigates Monarch. Monarch presumably has custody of Odo Island. They go and, well, probably the dad and maybe the kid <laughs> sneaks in right. because, you know, kids' character in monster movies, they like sneak into they tend places. To be, yeah, they tend to sneak into high security <laughs> places. Um, they go to Odo Island. Um, say, Biolante is there. And I'd like to see Biolante. Like maybe again. Monarch is toying around with a sample of Godzilla that came out of him when Godzilla fought oh. the Mudos. Godzilla still has his more rug- rigged dorsal fins and... Since, since, you know, not too much could happen, let's just have Godzilla kill Biolante and just swim away. Like, <laughs> nice. Just like that. Nice. Um, anyway, those are our thoughts. Um, is there any last-minute things you wanted to add? We don't want to go too long today. This isn't, the, this isn't a weekly show. It's just sort of our little update. Hmm. I um, mean, I doubt it's going to be as good as Godzilla Singular Point because Singular Point was its own reimagining of the Showa era. And yeah, I need to check it out. It feels out. more like its own so standalone you could beat thing. beat me up about not checking it out. Yeah. <laughs> like, it feels like something that you could watch without, you know, watching any other movie, <laughs> which is why I recommend Similar Point. Cool. Um, so, yeah. So those are our thoughts. Um, if you have some thoughts, please share them with us. Uh, you know, like, share, subscribe. If you don't like the video, don't like us. Um, and comment anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tell us what you think in our comments. We try to answer all comments. Hey, legendary. Give us Mechanic Kong. And yes, I would love to see Mechanic Kong as well. And Doctor Who. Yes. (laughs) All right, guys. Uh, That's it for tonight. Uh, Thanks.